are at the Eduardo Secchi Gallery in Milan for the solo show of David Schnell. It's the first solo show in Italy. Uh, David, before to ask you something about your language, could you tell us something about your experience in Leipzig and what, that, what that does it mean for your artwork and your experience, your connection with Italian culture, you, you remember? You okay, yeah, um, I uh, moved uh, to Leipzig in 1995 to study at the art school there, at the academy, and um, one of the main reasons was because I wanted to uh, study uh, art artistic printmaking and um, uh, the workshops at this very traditional academy uh, were very famous in Germany and um, uh, yeah the special thing was that this art school was in the former uh, GDR and it was quite short after um, the wall came down so uh, the city was during the time um, I lived there develop, developing, de developing very much um, uh, the architecture was changing, um, there were people moving um, in and moving out and also the landscape was changing very much. And um, yeah, this um, inspired me for my work to work with landscape and architecture and space. And um, yeah, in uh, 2013 I had a, a residency in, in Rome at Villa Massimo. I spent it there 11 months and um, during this time I, uh, yeah, I uh, got really interested in, of course into the uh, very different kinds uh, of architecture there, the um, different, um, the different times, the different centuries and um, uh, for me it was interesting because there I had in one, one city uh, several uh, layers of time and uh, it was a little bit like what I, um, I, I uh, discovered in Leipzig um, where I discovered uh, a, a, in a short time um, uh, a great change there I had a very long period of time but everything stick together and that inspired me very much and during your stay in Rome, you had also a relationship, a contact with the Calcografia Nazionale. Yes, um, after my uh, first uh, residency, uh, two years later, I was invited to um, uh, work at the printmaking workshop of the um, Instituto Centrale per la Grafica. And uh, it was uh, very inspiring because First, it was a very interesting workshop and very interesting printmakers I was able to work with. And um, I had the ability to discover the whole archive of the yeah. Instituto uh, with over 50,000 old prints from the whole art history. And um, uh, that was, um, yeah, for me, um, very interesting to, to work with the architecture of a city, but also uh, with um, uh, yeah, an art and tradition and um, uh, with uh, the history of printmaking. So after your history, your work, what about this kind of, I don't know if I can call it landscape, is, is it, yeah, it's is a, it right? Mix, it's a mixture of a landscape and cityscape and uh, I always try to keep it open uh, it could be an interior, but when you get closer, you realize, okay, it could be also a street or, um, uh, yeah, uh, it could be also um, a mixture between inside and outside. There are not really walls, everything is transparent and um, there are, uh, these uh, spaces are very abstract, so um, uh, I want to, do not want to give um, uh, the idea of a certain place. I only want to give the remembrance of something that could remind you on a certain Can place. Can we say that in your work, taking inspiration from this piece, uh, there is always a mix 
between reality and fantasy? Uh, definitely, yes. And um, but not only uh, fantasy in a uh, yeah in, in a sense of telling a story, or but especially a fantasy of finding a form and finding uh, yeah new ways of painting and finding finding new compositions and um, uh, so it's for me uh, it's important that's a fan fantasy of um, composition painting and and art in the end very clear thank you very much david thank you